Jeff, as always, thanks for your time. A lot of excitement to start the season. Samuel Montebo has played some amazing hockey, especially the shutout versus the Leafs. But I have to ask you first about Lane Hudson. Dynamic young player. I mean, he gets this place buzzing all the time. Could you ever imagine when you took him in the second round, the player that he's become today? I mean, if I said that and then we took three players before him, uh, you know, it'd probably be people said I was lying. But for sure, he's a player that our, our scouts liked a lot and thought he could do great things and, and be a really good player in this league. Um, but to do it so quickly and come in and have the buzz that he has, I don't think anybody could have predicted that one. All right, now listen, Gortz, I'm happy you're here because you're, you're a TV star now. Yes. yes so yes. I spent a good su uh, Sunday watching all the Crave yeah. TV, the Rebuild yeah. show. What was that like for you and the dynamic between you and Kent, oh, where yeah. you're sort of the calm one, he's yeah. more excitable. What was that like watching yourself back and going through that process? I'm glad you said I'm the calm one because <laughs> it's, it's pretty obvious, right? So uh, especially when we're going over a bridge. Um, no, it, it was, it's was. it been fun. Like I, We always kind of joke, like, it could be, is this going to be a nuisance for our team? What's this going to be like? Um, but for the most part, they blend in really yeah. well. And, you know, when the final result comes out, I know all the players are watching too, so just like we are. So it's fun. It's kind of fun to watch it now. While you're going through it, you're like, oh, how's this going to come out? But it's, it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, it's come out really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Chip, can you take us back to the draft? It was so exciting. You're picking five, and then you see how things shake down, and Demidoff is available at five. Can you just take us through maybe your thought process and what was going through your mind at the table? Well, obviously a player we coveted and really liked and thought would fit in really well with our team. Um, so you never know if he's going to fall, how it's going to play out. But the day leading up to that, the two days leading up to that, we started hearing that it might happen. It's a, it's a possibility, uh, so which became exciting. And obviously, you know, uh, you know, we had Celine make the pick, which makes it even more exciting too. So uh, a great day, and uh, hopefully uh, we see him sooner than later. And so Michael Hage too goes in the first round. He's off to a great start at Michigan as well. How often are you watching these young men and talking to these young men as their seasons progress? Yeah, I think with the prospects, I mean, we're fans too. We're watching everything they're doing. Um, you know, Michael's obviously off to a really good start, which excites us. You know, down the middle to have a player like that that can skate like that, and and uh, to be a freshman, a young kid like that, over a point a game right away, it's exciting. So uh, we're watching everything they're doing, just like the fans. Now, Gortz, you've been here almost three years. It's gone quickly. Yeah, it has. And when you came in, you talked about maybe, you know, upgrading and changing, whether it's analytics, whether it's player health and science, whatever it is. Do you have the organization now scouting in a position that you want it to kind of be in? You always want to improve, but a better position now going forward. I think we do. I, I think, like you said, all those areas we've added. Uh, we've done some things with our medical staff. Um, we're, you know, listen. We want to make the players as comfortable as possible. We want them to feel like we're taking care of all those things, so they can only worry about playing on the ice. And I think we've done that. Uh, Kirby Doc injured last year, but you guys really still brought him into the fabric of your team. I know, so unfortunate, Line A, Reinbacher. I'm just curious, how are those two young men doing, and how do you continue to engage them to make them feel part of Montreal? Yeah, I mean, credit to Marty. He's the one that's having them in the meetings. We're doing power play behind the scenes. He's got them in there with the coaches. And Line has got a lot of opinions, as you might imagine, <laughs> yeah. a skill guy might have. And uh, so it's been great. I think you have to do those things to keep these players that are going to be out for a while engaged. Um, you know, we've made a number of adjustments to our systems we're trying to go through. So it only makes sense for these guys to be in there. For David Reinbacker, he's going to be out a little bit longer. So we're trying to do our best to keep him engaged as much as possible. And finally, really quickly, were you upset the Americans didn't select you for the President's Cup in Montreal? Uh, could have been a late pick. <laughs> that was an amazing thing. I love that whole event. Uh, but if you saw my golf game, I would never have been selected. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for doing this, and good luck this season. Yeah, anytime, guys. Yeah.